three, two, one, go. Welcome into Press Box Live. I'm Stan the Fan Charles flying solo tonight. Gary Stein is away on a great assignment. His daughter's getting married over the weekend. Uh, we'll welcome him back in about 10 days, two weeks. Uh, excited to talk today to Frank Remish, who's the general manager of what we used to know as the Baltimore Civic Center. We used to know it as the Baltimore Arena. Then we knew it as the First Mariner Bank. Then we knew it as Royal Farms Arena. But we've never known anything like CFG Bank Arena. And we're going to talk in just 15 seconds. Just need to tell you about the expert and award-winning folks at MJ Michaels Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Home Performance. They'll improve your home's energy efficiency and comfort levels. The AC season is coming up fast, and it is some, somewhat upon us now. There are new rebates and discounts that are available. More at ajmichaels.com. And, of course, we always thank our friends at the Costas Inn, and we'll hear more about them in just a few minutes. But I'm uh, really happy to have on the guy uh, who has kept this building in so many different iterations, really cooking, not for not necessarily for the sports fan, but that's not his his thing. His thing is to make money for the Baltimore Arena, which is now CFG Bank Arena. Frank, congratulations on, I know what's been a crazy 15, 16 months. It, it really has. And and uh, thanks for having me on your show. Uh, unfortunately, all I can think about is Costas Crabs right now. I can't get my mind <laughs> to all of that. So I apologize for my delay. That's okay. That's okay. Tell us a little bit. I know, I know you're a guy that likes to be doing the action of having events that you could sell. What was it like personally for you after that CIAA tournament uh, 15 months ago when that was the last event in the Royal Farms Arena as we knew it then? What were those next 13, 12, 13 months like for you? It, it, it was tough. It was tough for me and my uh, family at the arena. <clears throat> you got to understand most of us have been there forever. This is my 35th year. And, and, and it's a new company <clears throat> I was part of too. So I literally handed the keys to the office over that day, March 1st. As I was driving um, down or up the drive to head away from the, the building, I mean, the wrecking balls were sitting on the parking lot. So they were, really, they were ready to go. Yeah, you know, it, it's not, it, it was actually a super sad moment for me. It wasn't, it wasn't the warm and fuzzy feeling that everybody, it wasn't the, I didn't have the excitement yet because it was all yep. focused on tearing, tearing yep. or eviscerating this building. Um, I, and honestly, I stayed away a little bit. You, you got to remember my, my friends, and my, my dad worked there. So I had a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. so it was a lot of emotion. Plus, I, you didn't have a chance to say goodbye because literally, the CIA tournament was over the next day we were gone. We had to pack everything. It, it was just a, a tremendous rush because we only had 11 months to yep. do what they said would take 18 months to do. Um, and so it, and initially we all had to kind of stay away. You kind of work from home. They end up giving us a, a, a site uh, on 250 West Pratt, which is right across from the building. Uh, but uh, it, it was a hard process to go through. It was, it was, it took me a while to get that excitement built up. And, and when I came into the arena, um, when they had it pretty much gutted, uh, it, 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 it was eviscerated. I mean, it was nothing left of the inside of building. Stan and I, I know you and I have talked about this before. Uh, I, I, I remember coming home and, I, and look, I'm from Baltimore. And I, I, I said to my, um, my new owners, I said, you, the, the story we have to get out no one from Baltimore will believe this. They're going to think it's <laughs> lipstick and mascara. Yep. They're going to say this is, we have a chip on our shoulder. You know, DC always gets it. Philly always gets it, blah, blah. But you, we have to get this word out. We have to invite the president. We have to get people here to see what, what we've done. Um, the, the, the great thing was, I, I'm a fan of history. I love Baltimore's history. I love Maryland's history. I, I love that building's history. The building was built yep. in 62. Who walked on that stage, you know, before us, the, the, the hallowed grounds of, of, of the Baltimore Civic Center back then, from, from, from Elvis to uh, the Beatles to Martin Luther King and, and everyone in between, uh, to, to, to be part of that is just surreal for me. So um, coming back and once I started seeing them put it back together again, then I started getting that energy back. 
Um, and it was tough, you know, it's frustrating being, it's no different than someone building a house. It was, you know, are they listening to me or why are they doing it this way? You know, I think I know it better, you know, blah, blah, and all that stuff. Um, but the, the part that, that I love and, and a lot of the things that, that, that the patron, they wouldn't see is the ability, what, what they change that's going to give me the ability to book better events. Yeah. And they, they, and again, not to get into the, it's whatever you want, not to get too much because I'll, I'll go off and I'll make your eyes roll back in your head. I'll get you bored. <laughs> but uh, um, the, you know, everything is new, all the electric, all the plumbing, all the concession stands, you know, um, but we can you tell me, can you tell me for sure that one thing is new? Did they get rid of the old elevator? We put two, two, three, we have three personal elevators. And now I finally have my freight elevator back from 1980. They took it out in the eighties, which right. think about, feel my pain. I had no freight elevator. No freight elevator. We, <laughs> we even have escalators back in the building. So, um, so they, they, the electric went from 2,800 amps on stage to 4,000 amps, no more show generators, that goofy ceiling that, you know, arguably a lot of people love, but it was yeah. miserable to do a show. It was yeah. iconic, but it was miserable to rig. Um, that was changed. The stage, the iconic stage that was outdated when they put it in is gone. The walls flanking the stage are gone. So the sight lines now are incredible. Um, the, the shows it's been, you, you were asking me off camera about this, uh, from, from they're calling me now. I don't want to give this up a little bit, but, but it, it, this is. Well, I asked you before, I asked you before we went on the air, are you hearing from fans and the talent? Yes. How much great. better, how much better the place is. So, so you have like a, like a three-legged stool. You have the fans, you have the talent and you have the promoter that's bringing the talent. Yeah. And. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to, 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 you know, lay it on thick to your fans. I'm telling the truth because look, I, I'm used to be the ugly duckling and I am getting nothing but rave reviews. The, the, first of all, the, the, I had to convince the production managers to convince the promoters to bring the acts, right? Yeah. The, the, the acts will come if you make enough money for them. And, yeah. and they still love Baltimore. Baltimore is an incredible market. We both know that, Sam, right? We've talked about that before. The fans are here. They've always been here. Now we just needed an A building. And it, I've said this a couple of times. It's hard for me to do because I'm basically saying my kid was ugly, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a tough thing to say. Um, now I have, now I have an A building in an A market. Um, and the, look what we are doing. I mean, our first 20 shows out of the gate, 10 were sellouts. We, we sold out. I had... I had Anita Baker, Lizzo, and Janet Jackson, all three sold out in one week. I, I, I go back. I don't know. For my 35 years, I've never done three concerts in one week. I had three mm -hmm. sold out concerts in one week. Um, the diversity of shows. Absolutely incredible. I mean, we, we even had two sell out monster trucks. We've had everything. Um, um, and now we have our first two country shows are coming up around the corner in July. They're both sold. Got Chris so Sta just, you got Chris Stapleton. I got the uh, yeah. partial list of and what Thomas you got Ray. here. So Chris um, Stapleton's July 15th. Yeah. You got the raw WWE right. on, on uh, July the 3rd. Uh, then you even have little baby and 50 cent in September. Right. You got Lionel Richie with earth, wind and fire making their second appearance in the building right. August 19th. Let me just jump ahead at one thing. The you've got two events coming in the fall. You've got Disney on Ice coming October 12th to the 15th and and November 24th to 26th. You got Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey, greatest show on earth. Right. Do those shows still have the drawing power that they did 20, 30 years ago? If they didn't, I wouldn't do them. Okay. Um, I, I'm in a different look, it, it, it's Somebody has to pay that $250 million now, right? If it doesn't make sense, I can't do it anymore. And yeah. honestly, I'm going to sound like a broken record. Uh, uh, the gentleman by the name of Kenneth Bell owns all that product. He, he owns Disney on Ice, The Circus, Marvel, Monster Trucks. He basically has the he market. He has the whole thing. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And um, he literally, I, I don't know what it is now because of COVID, but pre-COVID, we were always one or two in the nation in family show business. 
That's how phenomenal Baltimore is. And one of the reasons, not that your fan base wants to hear this, but one of the reasons we do so well is because we don't have a team. So we yeah. have open dates, right? Yeah, you got um, the good dates. Yep. So, so why, yeah, the, the, the circus is new now, right? Now that's not the circus you're used to. This is a circus yeah. without animals. It hasn't right. performed yet. So I'm betting on that one. Disney, did, D- Disney will do well. Disney always does well. Yeah. We'll actually do two Disney on ices in a year. We'll do two eight to nine performance runs of Disney, one in October, one in February, just like we always did. And they're um, solid money makers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, nothing makes money like a concert. Nothing, nothing makes money like a country concert, an old rock concert where they drink a lot of beer um, yeah. and sell a lot of tickets. But the family shows, it's something that you plan them uh, three, four, five years out. So in my budget, I can write them down. I fill that void. And then I fill in, you know, around them with concerts. So, um, but to go back to the original question, the fans have been saying nothing but nice things um, about the how, building. How are they, how are you hearing that? Are you hearing it just word of mouth from friends or are they emailing you? It's or, social media, you know, my okay. marketing department's on it. Plus, plus now we, we have something we're not used to having. We have a bunch of uh, premium seats, right? We have the okay. suites, we have the theater boxes. We have these absolutely incredible bars. Um, in fact, the one really nice thing, the bar we have where my office used to be on the first floor, so it's a monster bar. The whole front of it is part of the stage. They repurposed the stage from, from, uh, from the, uh, the arena itself. Uh, so the, 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 uh, the sponsors, nothing but great feedback. CFG, again, I, I'm, I'm not here to be self-serving, but they have been such an incredible uh, partner. Yeah, because um, they're from Baltimore. This is incredible. This has been an incredible ride, uh, albeit tough, but uh, they they even help us pitch it to other sponsors. That's how much they love it and believe in it. Um, again, we're doing what they asked us to do. We're selling the heck out of Baltimore in the uh, in the building. Now, the Oakview Group, they now own the building, correct? Well, Where it's does... a 30-year lease. It's almost okay. like as we were it's almost like ground rent. Like we used to do, you know, used to hear about that, but, but they pretty much, they pretty much own it for 30 years. Correct? Okay. They was, invested $250 million in that. Was, was that unique for them to come in and keep a Frank Remish? And I'm not, I mean, I know they knew the word of mouth was you were doing an amazing job, Frank. I'm well, not blowing smoke up well, your keister, you. you know, but, but it is a lot of times when somebody new is putting that kind of investment where did the trust come in Fra- in Frank Remish? I, it was tough because, you know, I, I've i been doing it, like I said, for 35 years. And I think in Baltimore, um, you know, it's such a small town. You know, yeah. I, I, I think people know me. I know them. I never really had to prove myself, my reputation. Hopefully, you know, from just being a good person, it got out. Um, but I had to do it all over again because because Oakview came in. I work for the competitor. They beat the competitor, right? Mm-hmm. So their, their instinct is, man, he's worked for that competitor since 1999. We don't think that competitor does a good job. We think we do a better job. Right. So <laughs> I was an old dog, right? So I had approved, I had the approved, the, I had the ability to listen and change. Mm-hmm. And remember, this isn't the same arena. It has 38 suites. It, it, it you have sponsorship you have to sell there's a lot of other components to this um i, I want to talk about that give me just a minute okay we're talking with frank remish the general manager of the newly renovated and opened up cfg bank arena downtown baltimore if you're interested in looking at the calendar of events they have go to their website cfgbankarena.com but right now i gotta tell you about the costas in and get frank all excited about eating crabs Uh, A lot of you folks out there, you wait through the winter, you don't really think of uh, eating crabs during the winter, but a hell of a lot of people do right when the weather gets warm, and that's going on now despite the chilly temperatures today. Uh, The Costas Inn, they've been around over 50 years, they're in a fantastic place for family dining, but if you want crabs, crab cakes, crab soup, no place better. There's others that are really good. The Costas Inn combines it all, and it's all there for you. But you got to do one thing. If you're planning to go eat crabs, call them at 410-477-1975. Check the availability. 
and make your reservations for crabs. Days of showing up at crab houses and automatically getting crabs ain't so fast to happen, okay? Costas in 4100 North Point Boulevard, that phone number, 410-477-1975. We continue with Frank Remish, general manager of the new CFG Bank Arena. And Frank, you were just saying that you've got a new building to sell. Uh, and one of the things you have, these amenities are the suites. Tell us a little bit about them. Because the, yeah, the old arena different... never had that. No, we, we had two small suites at the old arena that I actually built probably <laughs> maybe about six years before we we uh, closed. They, they were decent, but it was two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now we have 38. And Got 38, um, there are, there are 38 suites. We have uh, 26 what they call bunker suites, which uh, you can't see the show from the suite. You actually go down a private hallway which sounds counterintuitive, but the seats that are associated with those suites are the best seats in the house. Okay. So they're not up in the rafters. They're not, you know, uh, even on the third, they're, they're, they're the seats that I used to sit my mom in. They're incredible seats. So, and, and you have huge bars. You, you, we have another thing we have too. I never had a caterer. I have a full kitchen now. Um, so I have all the, the all the, uh, the amenities uh, that you can, that you can imagine. Um, and then we have party suites. Those, those 26 suites that we, we have are, um, are sold on a seven year basis. Um, and they're 16 seats each. The, the, we have 12 party suites that we sell per, per event. And I'm not here for a sales pitch. I'm just kind of, it's well, just that's different. that's one of the reasons um, we had you on is to tell people all about the different options. You know? And the food, the food that the, you know, again, it's hard because I was so proud of what I did before. So I don't want to poo-poo it. Um, it's just different. I'm in a different league now. We're, but you we, mean, you mean to tell me when I went to a blast game or a concert and got a hot dog, it wasn't really made, really created there? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, but I tell you what, I, I thought what we used to have was incredible. I, we worked hard to make sure we had, you know, a good value um, and a good quality product. That being said, it's it, we have we have Shiel, uh, uh, the Shack Chicken now, Shiel uh -huh. Neal's Chicken. Um, we, we have specialty products. Again, we have our own kitchen. Uh, it's just it's different. It's it's I had I had the hot dogs, the nachos, the chicken uh, chicken uh, fingers, and I did a good job with that. When I say me, it's not my arrogance. I'm talking about all of us. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's we're we're, we're different. We're, we're we're an A market, A team now. It's just different than what I used to have. Um, I, I assure the sight lines now. We don't have remember. I was a rectangle and it's all yeah, rounded. I, I know. Everything's rounded. The sight yeah. lines are absolutely phenomenal. The seats are better. Um, we were talking again off air. No matter what I say to you, you're not going to believe it until you come in. Okay. So I would be a doubter too. Uh, and there'll be a show sooner or later that your, your fans will want to come to and they'll see it and they'll go, yeah, he wasn't lying. It, 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 it really is incredible. Uh, how the diversity of act that you have going from like little baby and 50 cent Jonas brothers. And then you've got John Mayer and in between all that, you got Barry Manilow. How do you, how do you pick the, you know, obviously the scheduling is done with the performer's schedule and all that, but you don't want to have all the same thing for three months. Do you? It, it doesn't really, honestly, it doesn't work like that. Um, it, it's a matter of you that that's again the advantage of having this nice open schedule they call me they ask me for availabilities and i got to have the ability to sell the building mm -hmm. how they fit in the building and that i can sell tickets that's what they want to hear and we're putting it to it now i mean like i, I was saying we, we put in, in years past they would have said to me I would have to be a traffic air traffic controller and they would not let me put two urban shows that they feel are urban. Right. Right. They, right. they, they feel that. And I would argue like Anita Baker and Janet Jackson are the same household. And I would always argue that um, they wouldn't let me, they would argue they don't even put them in the same month. Right. We did them in the same week. I'm telling you, we can do country. We did. We'll do Chris Stapleton and, and, and Thomas Rhett back to back pretty much. Right. We did the Eagles and Bruce. Um, we, we'll do, like I said, Anita Baker, Janet Jackson, and Lizzo back to back to back. Um, right. we, we, it's Baltimore sells. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's, I, don't, 
I don't really have to worry about it. We're proving it. Um, huh. it, it used to be an argument too, Stan, that they would say, oh, you can't, Baltimore and D.C., they're, they're the same market. And D.C. Right. is a you better building. the same acts cross over. That's and, not true. That's right. not true at all. We, right. we, this, our arena draws from over 8 million people. That's, you, you put me anywhere else, I would be a monster market. But you put me between Philly and D.C., yep. I'm the smaller market. But it's, a, it's an enormous market. It's way more than, than most, honestly. So sure. we have the strength to sell anything. So let me let me turn to one thing. And you and I've never, you know, we've never BS'd each other. I know we're not getting an NBA team in Baltimore or an NHL team it has nothing to do even with the arena. We're just not getting them. But is there a place for sports in your world? And are the sports events that come there going to be better than they were? Uh, are the sight lines better all around? So um I always thought the building, I always thought the building, depending, I guess, depending on where you sat, um, right. hockey, it was always tough because you couldn't see the one goal, right? Right, right? That didn't change. It didn't change because the, the floor is actually still the same place, right? Um, but now we have, again, better acoustics. We have state-of-the-art NBA quality lights now. Okay. Again, you wouldn't even know that, right? Yeah. Um, yep. So when we did the CIA tournament, it was, we can do, we can do an NCAA first, second round tournament. Okay. Um, am I going to go after that? Hell yes. Is there a place for it? I promise you. Um, I promise you, I don't want to give the common sense to tell you, I'm going to go after Maryland. I'm going to go after the wizards. I'm going to go after NCAs. I'm, I'm going to do tournaments that make sense. Yep. Look, be very honest with you. And high school tournament isn't going to make sense. It, it will not sell it. Yeah. It never the MEAC tournament. Everybody wants they they just they never did. They didn't sell before. I don't see them selling well now. But um, you put a Maryland game in and you put Maryland against the right competitor. I I still remember when I used to do one Maryland game a year and we sold that place out. There was no question about it. There was it. no more energy in that building. The only time I would ever argue the energy in that building when we used to do the indoor thunder and that whole place would rock back and forth. Um, uh, I, you're not going to get a minor league team. I'll fight you tooth and nail against it. I know people don't want to hear it, but yep. we, it doesn't work. God, yeah. it does. It's, it's going to be a loss. It's going to be a loss. Yeah. Thing. And I can't afford yeah. to give up that, that footprint on my schedule, on my calendar. Um, but the one-offs I consider a Maryland game, a wizards game, and even like a CIA tournament, they're events to me yep. because they're not, they're not teams. I don't, I don't necessarily have the locker room space like I used to um, because everything we built was for concerts. So our back of a house, I can do, I, I, mean, I did the CIA tournament. I can make locker rooms, but you won't have that hometown locker room like you did before. It's not built like are, that. Are they long-term is something like the CIA, is it workable or does it cost you more valuable dates by having it? Look, you're right. At the end of the day, and, and I'm not telling a secret to anyone. Well, this At is the, the, the Oakview group is going to ask you that too. Right. At the end of the day, um, concerts make all your money. Yep. You know, uh, the, the concerts that drink the beer is where you make your money. I think everybody in the free world knows that. Yeah. Um, but you, you, you still, look, I have obligations to make money for Oakview Group, but you still, I, I like to think I'm still a civic building. You still have things to do. You've got the um, obligation to, do, to put on entertainment yeah. that everybody can right. enjoy. The, yep. the city itself, the, the, the CIA tournament, brings a lot of people into the city yeah and you, i could argue that all my books uh does is it better for me to do a concert or cia tournament it's probably a concert right yeah. however what the cia tournament does it puts a lot of eyeballs on baltimore yeah and i guarantee you there's a promoter there's somebody somewhere there's a there's a sponsor looking at that event and it makes when you activate baltimore it's safer and, yeah. and and it's more enjoyable, and 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 it's good for everyone. So, very well, very well right? put, Frank. No question about it. No question about it. Last question I got for you, John Angelos, who owns, uh, who's the president of the Baltimore Orioles now, running the show. He likes to do an occasional concert there, and the Ravens put on a concert every. Do you view that as competition, or it's just better at making Baltimore a musical destination? Yeah, it's funny. We um. You would think I would view it as competition, right? 
But well, I know again, you, you're pretty, you got a lot of common sense. So I wasn't you can't. sure. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you, 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 it's good for Baltimore. It's healthy ball. If the Hippodrome, how I look at it and nothing against the Hippodrome or Lyric or pier, I used to run the pier too. Right. Yep. So they get events. How I always look at it. Uh, uh, people are coming up and going down, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, th this one group is, is working its way up. So what the pier gets or what the Hippodrome get, I'm going to get it one day. Maybe when, when they start coming back down again, then they get it from me. Well, then go to the other point that I just said about the CIA tournament. When you have Paul McCartney playing over the stadium, and then you have someone that may not have come to the arena because of whatever their expectation was about yep. Baltimore, yep. but they just can't stay away because it's Paul McCartney. And they come down and they go, you know, it was easy to get. To. I'm literally can almost throw a baseball and hit the stadium, right? It's not far yep. from me at all. It's right yep. off Howard Street. And they come downtown, they go, it's actually pretty nice now. And they get the, they rekindle that love they did when they, when they were young and used to come downtown. Well, yeah. that just is an advantage to me um, that we have a great relationship. The Orioles, the Ravens, us, it, it's symbiotic, right? It, it, it's the yeah. same at the convention center. We're all working. We're all on committees right. together. We're all talking about cleanliness and safety, all the things that y'all want. But we're working on it together. Um, and it, it's power in that. It's power in activation and, and bringing the city alive. Again, the, the URL is cfgbankarena.com. Got the whole schedule of events coming up. Uh, anything else you wanted to get across to folks right now? Because I think we touched on a lot. Yeah, we probably have. Um, again, I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy for Baltimore. Um, we deserve this. We've deserved this for so long. We've talked about this. I've been part of this process, like I think it's been six times. And the mayor said to me, I brought, when we, when we started talking about this, I said, uh, I took it to him, we talked and he goes, is it real? And I go, Oakview's real. They have, they have deep pockets. They're not going to ask you anything. They're going to hand you that money and say, let's do it. And you, you, if they believe in Baltimore, not to be corny, but these guys are from LA. If they believe in Baltimore, then what the hell? We have to believe in Baltimore and help support Baltimore. One of the small stories that's gotten lost in all this, and you tell it as well as anybody, is Tim Lewicki, right? Right. Who used to run the Baltimore Blast. First GM he, of the Blast in 1980. He was the first, and, and the events that they used to put on maybe 20 times a year, 18 games a year that they right. played at home, went a long way in his belief in Baltimore, didn't it? Exactly. He cut his teeth, right? Yeah. So he had this, he had this love affair with Baltimore and honestly, he battled me. It was me that he battled and I was blocking him because I was working for the, the, the other guy. And at the end of the day, he was the guy that could bring it to, he believed more than the company yeah. that I worked for. Yeah. Um, and I hope people appreciate that because again, not to be corny, but when you have an outsider believe in Baltimore, we got to stop being negative, man. We yeah. got to, we got to enjoy each other. Like you said, enjoy the, I'm, I'll help promote the stadiums. I'll help promote the Hippodrome, the pier, whatever, uh, yep. the casinos. We're all in it together. It's all about Baltimore. Let's get people coming downtown again. He's a Baltimore institution. Frank Remish, general manager of CFG Bank Arena. Many thanks for being on with us. All right. Thank you, Really sir. appreciate it. Monday night, Ross Grimsley, Luke Jackson, and I'll be on the time yet to be decided. Next Thursday night, though, we're going to have somebody, special guest, uh, from superbook.com. And we'll talk about that coming up next Thursday. Again, thanks to Frank Remish and our thanks to AJ Michaels, heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and home performance. And of course, our friends at the Costas Inn. That's it for now. We'll talk to you soon. O's back in town tomorrow night. Support the O's. They got nine game home stand against Seattle three, the Red Hot Cincinnati Reds for three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then next weekend, the Minnesota Twins a week from tomorrow. All right. See you soon. Bye, Frank. Take care.